Is the animated version of Toka and Razar, Razar, Razar? Are they as cool as they seem? Welcome to the channel. I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing Toka and Raz Razar, Razar, whatever. <laughs> so as always, we're going to do an overview. Then we look at details, articulation, and posing. Let's get into it. So it's from the NECA line from the animated series. And as you can see, artwork on the cover, open box uh, display so you can actually see the figures and the accessories you get. So let's check out the box itself. You got a nice shot of the figure here on the side and here. And then on the back, you got a nice little story like bio of how they're introduced in the show. Some of the other figures from the line, another shot. And we have the top of the box and the bottom, which has all of the you know important details but the nice call out again as always of the people involved in the packaging and the product design let's open this box up and see what we got going on and the backdrop card which you can't really see with the figures inside is a really cool shot of the tech drum underground here we are with the figures in the plastic it looks like um this might be an easy one to work with, which is great. If you haven't done the neutrinos or you haven't seen the video from it uh, or Usagi Yojimbo, oh man, those are the most complicated. But so thankful that these were just held in by a plastic guard. And then there's just a couple bands on the figures to take out. Usually you see the plastic locks like these that hold them in place, but this is a combination of the two. So you have the twist ties up here and then the more traditional plastic piece here. All right, so a nice little overview of the figures here. I mean, good Lord, these are some thick boys. They look great. We've got a lot of little pieces here. We have the fish, this full meal, this Device, which, uh, yep, haven't caught up to the episodes yet. I don't recall, definitely don't recall from my childhood. We got some meat on some sticks, some classic cartoon yummy looking meat on sticks and some additional hands for each figure. So let's get into the details. So here we are looking in the details. This is kind of standard with, uh-oh, look at that. So this is kind of standard with the NECA line of the animated series, they do this two tone, so it kind of gives like a shadow look. And then obviously the, all of the outlines, they give it that animation style. This belt here, all the details. we got the straps here on the arms. It goes all the way around. I mean, look at this. So the detail, of course, just as one would expect, spectacular from this line. And these boys are no exception. And here, of course, more details. I mean, they've done a very nice job with the outlines, the coloring, the paintwork. Uh, looks really good. It's very detailed, uh, you know, getting into these really tight spaces and managing to get these outlines. This is really nice. Little chains on his wrists, a nice texture of the fur. It's a great touch, especially for something that, you know, in an animation, wouldn't be able to get this detail out of the fur. All of these lines. So excellent work here. Here's a detail in the meat tray. Nice charcuterie board. I mean, look at this. Really nice. I mean, considering that this is just a, you know, like a simple accessory piece that would just be sitting somewhere, not really being uh, utilized or held or something. I mean, this is a it's very good looking. We have the fish. Again, no lack of detail. Classic X in the eyes to symbolize the dead fish. But this is great. You know, I mean, there's some things that they could really just skimp on, but they they managed to uh, really put the work in on everything. So the extra pieces of meat, both of those classic cartoon style. So for extra props, I mean, they, they really put the work in. They never mess around. Uh, I mean, that's just classic NECA, I guess, right? gotta love what they do and the extra hands so no lack of detail and the final set of hands but before we go any further be sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments if this is a figure that you've already picked up or you plan to all right so that means we are now on to articulation so what do we got out of these guys 
What kind of head movement are we going to get? Uh, not a whole lot. This is the same similar neck setup as the Leonardo's, the Hunchback. So you don't get a whole lot. There's no neck joint. It's just the head joint. But on these guys, you do get mouth articulation, which is awesome. And I would have loved to have seen this on some of the Universal Monsters with TMNT. But these... That is just such a nice touch. Uh, rotation of the head, of course, as one would expect. Now let's get into the arms. So wide out, we can get, oh, they are tight. We're gonna have some limitation, but you know, that's, that's not the worst that's out there. As far as rotation, you got right up there at the biceps. Uh, anything at the elbow or forearm, no. So elbow, nice double joint, kind of like the turtles themselves. You have the wrist, which will rotate and has like uh, somewhat of a hinge point. So not a whole lot of movement on this side anyway. Well, there we go. So could be better on the wrists, but you know, nothing to complain about. Same thing on this side, rotation, the double jointed elbows, the wrists, rotation and a little bit better on this side. This side's probably just a little tight. So anything in the upper body, no. No, sh no articulation around the shell, no waist, of course, which would be weird anyway with the shell being there. Now the legs, you can get some full splits, which that's awesome, great action out of the legs. So forward, it's kind of okay. Backwards, uh, it's all right. The rotation of the legs, there's, so ball joints, you're kind of getting some weird different articulation, makes it nice and easy. The legs don't have any side to side, no rotations around the knees or anything, but you have double jointed knees, which can do okay, considering how much this would be blocking the movement, you still get some nice range out of it. Nothing going down the leg as far as like a, a rotation, but the ankles have really nice articulation. Um, there's no, mm, yeah, so just some, kind of that weird ball joint, I don't know what you would call that, for the ankles where they kind of rotate at, a, at an angle like that, but at least that helps. You got the up and down and you have this kind of slight change going that way so that's very helpful um so yeah pretty standard as far as most articulation shoulders are stopping legs don't have an additional swivel point but you have mouth articulation which is definitely a bonus all right now how well do you go so the head same as expected the up is almost nothing down is practically nothing so the head is it barely has any movement uh up and down his chin is hitting this breastplate the side to side movement that's pretty good so you can kind of give him that look from the movie where he just kind of is confused like a like a dog so he just has a head joint there's no neck joint the arms yeah same problem his shoulder pads are blocking him you can't really get a whole lot out of the arm in the upward pose. Now he does have the bicep rotation, which is good. He has the double jointed elbows, which is the best kind of elbow you can get in one of these figures. The wrist is full spin and that cuff in the way. Let's see. You can get, you can still get some pretty nice wrist uh, articulation. So not too bad, even with the cuffs. Obviously, same thing on this side. You have waist rotation, which is a bonus for him. Uh, of course, he doesn't have a shell that gets in the way. He just has this breastplate, which stops a little bit of downward motion, but it's a nice, uh, it's a nice articulation there. The legs, ball joints, so can go forward very nicely and backwards really nicely as well. Kind of goes off to the side a little bit, but you can still get some nice articulation from the legs and the full splits, which is awesome. The knees are double jointed. So again, pads just like the turtles themselves. So this is actually um, really not getting in the way. It's nice and thin in the back side. Um, as far as any additional, no, 
no rotation. He's got the same kind of ankles, so nothing new there. So that's actually pretty great. And of course the mouth articulation, which <laughs> is goofy. Kind of silly looking on him where it pivots, but he was always goofy looking, movie and animated. All right, so let's get into some posing. All right, so there we go. We got Toka and Razar. I mean, or Razar? What do you say? Anyway, so these guys, fantastic. I mean, it's just two of the most sought after figures for really good reason. So when it comes to details, these guys, you know, five out of five. The, the cartoon line has been spectacular through and through every single time, and they've never missed it in anything that I've reviewed so far. Now, when it comes to articulation, these guys, they're, they're really pretty solid considering what you get. Uh, mouth articulation is definitely a bonus. And I think that's gonna put the articulation at a four out of five. And then that brings us to posing. And the posing is honestly great. You saw some options. Some of you out there are really much more creative than I am and can come up with some really cool options. I think the posing, uh, with all things considered, the size of the shell and everything, that's gonna bring us to a four out of five. So there we have it, Toka and Razar, or, or Razar, I, I still can't get it. There's the score, the overall rating. What are your thoughts on this figure? Is this something as cool as it seemed online? Well, in person, I'm gonna say it's a big fat yes. They are some of the best ones that I have seen yet. They are spectacular. And if you enjoy this review, you have got to watch this one. This is one of my favorites, hands down. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.